You know, a lot of us can probably remember exactly where we were when we first heard that those planes or saw that those planes had hit the Twin Towers. And remembering that day 20 years ago can still spark a wide array of emotions. And so this afternoon, we wanted to take just a minute uh, to talk about coping and some tips to help get through what can be a tough day. Joining us to do that today, Dr. Brad Schwal, the president and CEO at the Center for Integrative Counseling and Psychology. Dr. Schwal, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, I want to ask you, you know, because two decades is a long time, um, but, it, you know, a lot of people still feel this very viscerally, especially when we hear some of those testimonials from people like we just heard from there, you know, talking about people clinging to the outside of the World Trade Center and making the sign of the cross and then mm. plunging to their deaths. And, it, and it's still very real, and it almost seems like it happened yesterday. That's really normal, isn't it? It, it really is. 9-11 uh, was a collective trauma and uh, 20 years, a significant uh, time to, to look back. And certainly we are filled with emotion, remembering where we were when we first heard the news. And I think added to that is the stress in our society that we've been facing now. So certainly remembering uh, does help us in grieving and it is important to, to talk to our children about what happened, to, to reflect on, on lessons learned and our own experience, um, because even our kids, even children are impacted because the world is so different, even though they may not know how it's different, it certainly is. Uh, especially when, when they see the images, just like we see the images, and, and we're probably likely to see more of those this time around because 20 is just one of those big anniversaries, and so I, I, I've seen a lot of the coverage on TV uh, leading up to this uh, this week, and and I was interested just now when you said, especially, you know, our grieving now because of our situation right now, are, are you, you know, is it somewhat normal for you to maybe feel this a little bit more intensely this time around just because I think so many people are so much on edge just because of the pandemic and it's an emotional time anyway because of that? Definitely so. So that collective trauma it is happening now. Uh, even though everyone ex has experienced the pandemic differently, there still is a common experience. I, I think the focus still needs to be the same. 9-11, everybody banded together. And we think about the, the loss of life. We do think about the heroic actions. And even today, we think about the heroic actions of those who have been so pivotal in helping us through the pandemic. And so the idea that we must still focus on, on that common bond, on the fact that we can influence our family, our community. Um, sometimes when we look at world events, they are so overwhelming. And looking at the images, remembering, sometimes it's hard to grasp the gravity of what happened. And that's the case today with all that has been happening in our world. Uh, but I always try to point to what we can learn and what we can learn is how we can work together, how we can honor those who lost their lives, remember those and remember the heroes on that day who worked hard um, to keep us safe, um, worked hard to save lives, and remember that today uh, for those who still continue to serve and, and those first responders that are doing so much for us now. I think it is hard for a lot of people to see these images and to process those memories all over again, but I think you bring up a good point there because in addition to mourning what happened that day, I think that a lot of people are probably mourning that sense of unity that we saw after the 9-11 attacks because it seems like we've lost that too over these past couple of decades. So definitely something to focus on. Yes, we, we do want to focus on that unity. Um, I, I was interviewed on Channel 8 on 9-11 and then the next morning and, and one focus that I had in those interviews was on children and the images they see. So even now with uh, traumatic events, we want to be careful uh, about not exposing young children uh, to difficult images. At the same time, I do think we need to talk to our kids and and remind them of that common unity that we experienced on 9-11. Uh, so the focus can still be on kids, supporting them, helping them, and, and we do want to help them learn. Um, so the two keys, I think, uh, in, in this weekend are remembering the loss, re remembering the heroic actions, and also focusing on how we can turn that collective trauma into collective compassion. 
And as hard as it is to continue with the remembering, we have to do it because otherwise it gets forgotten and uh, that is unacceptable. Uh, Dr. Brad Absolutely. Schwal, the president and CEO at the Center for Integrative Counseling and Psychology. Thank you very much for uh, being with us today and sharing that. Thank you. All right, let's turn our attentions now to the fight against COVID-19 this afternoon.